Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction to Sub Corbin. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, from our cheese content, like us on Patreon, follow us on YouTube, everything's over there. Also, our first YouTube channel. Today, we're doing a short film. It's called Lit. Coronavirus. Uh, it's called Listener. Uh, it's a Royal Stag production. <clears throat> Most of the short films we see are Royal Stag productions. <laughs> Hold on. Remember any alcohol video? Do you remember when you did when we drank Royal Stag? When we were drunk? Yeah. What did I do? Do you remember? No. When we were, <laughs> in, said, we were in Delhi, right? Next. Yeah. Royal Stag. You said Royal Stag and then you humped me. <laughs> I do remember that. Yeah. I was drunk. And listener. <laughs> Royal Stag. And we were <laughs> extremely yeah, tired. We were exhausted and drunk. Running on like three hours it of sleep. Great. And jet lag. That was the night that Big B's Tasty Nuts were born. That's true. He doesn't know it though. Uh, Listener is a short film starring Kumud Mishra, directed by Taran Dudija. You might remember Kumud Mishra from films such as Rockstar and Article 15, mm. among others. Gotcha. Uh, cool. We haven't done a short film in a while, so. It has been a while. It's been all but one have been really good. It's true. I think every rural stag one has been great. Yep. I don't think they've done, because I don't think the one that we saw that we didn't really like was Royal Stack. Oh, okay. I could be wrong. Well, all I know is we, it's been incredible, the consistency with the short films. And the fact that they're ads for a whiskey. Right. I That's love it. pretty awesome. It's not Royal Stag, I'm sorry. It takes a great man to be a good listener. That's true. ये कहानी है दो दोस्तों की मिर्ची और मिश्री मिश्री यानी मैं अब घर जाते वक्त मिर्ची बोला मिश्री मिश्री मुझे बहुत प्यास लग रही है चल ना चल नदी के वहां चल मिर्ची जैसी नदी की ओर बढ़ा एक आवाज आई मिर्ची वही रुक गया कभी भाई देखता कभी भाई देखता In my house, nobody listens to me. Many koi nahi sunta hai. Sab samajhte hai ki main bura ho gaya hu, sachya gaya hu, bakwas karta hu. Maine Manish se, mera beta, pehle din se mana kiya ki dekh Manish, is company mein mat invest kar, mat invest kar. Maine usko mere liye ek naam suna. Kya laga nahi? Main logon ko jaanta hu, yeh log achhe log hain, aur profit karna hai. Aur wahi ho? Company bankrupt ho gayi? 
और मुझे पचहत्तर लाख रुपए का फटका लगा पचहत्तर लाख रुपए का अरे यार इस टेंशन और हाइपर टेंशन में मेरी सेक्स लाइफ एकदम चौपट हो गई डॉक्टर्स ने डोज भी डबल कर दी लेकिन नथिंग इज है इस कथे मनीष की वजह से यार मैंने इतनी बड़ी इंपायर यू नहीं खड़ी कर ली उठती चीजा के पर गिर लेता हूं अरे मैं तो वो हूं कि आदमी की आंख में देख के बता दू उसके नेटवर्क क्या है से कह सकती हूं जो भी चीज आपको परेशान कर रही है मेरा यकीन मानिए यहां से जाने के बाद आप अपने अंदर एक नया आपको महसूस करेंगे और घर जाके मुझे धन्यवाद भी देंगे लॉन्ग डे आप कुछ कह रहे थे हाँ टूडे आई डेट समथिंग आई नी हैव अट आई डू माई वाइल्ड इज ड्रीम आई ड्रो फ्रॉम माई हाउस इन बैंड्रॉ ऑल द वे टू गीरा रूम कैन यू इमेजिन दैट मी टू एंड हाफ आवर Delhi in that much time mm. by plane, mm. jumping lanes without giving indicator also. You train buses, autos, people everywhere. You know there's this place, the middle um, Gorega. Yeah, over there there's actually cattle crossing the road. Literally, जैसे कि लोगों की अब कमी पड़ गई हो, cattle भी आ गए. Despite all that, you know, I feel actually fantastic. Just so awesome. <laughs>
177 likes on that. That's all those likes, that's what 56 of our mutual friends. Those 86 comments, and out of that, one of those comments was mine, and I wrote, Have a nice life. I got four likes. <laughs> <laughs> I got four likes. Or that one like was mine. She didn't even like it. I was like, no, I was with 342 likes. She's the best person, man. 56 comments. I'm not even judging her. And she's not tagged me for it. <laughs> she's not tagged me for a bit. <laughs> I told her that I should mention to her that she's the best. I, mean, I wouldn't take any of it back. <laughs> 86 comments, <laughs> 50 of mutual friends liked her. to sit here and look at me sir and listen to me and hands off to you for that because <laughs> wow. Excellent. Damn. Another great one. Yep. Another great short film. Uh, I was wondering what the little twist was. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even pick up on it. Nope. I, <laughs> that he was not actually listening. Yeah. Which, and amazingly, they were all so deeply impacted by the fact that he was such a good listener. The moral of the story is really, people don't really want somebody to listen as much as they want somebody to vent to. Not all the time, I'm saying no. in, in these situations. They just wanted somebody to be there to vent to them. 
and listen to yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. Oftentimes, it's not all the time. Obviously, not all the time with with your you know immediate family, significant others. Obviously, you no. want somebody to actually listen to you. And that's that's a very common thing. <clears throat> I don't know if it's that way here in, in India because I don't believe in a lot of stereotypes when it comes to male and female roles and what men and women do. But in America, men and women uh, notoriously, men will hear what a for example a husband will hear what a wife is saying. Sam. Or a dog will hear what another dog is saying. God. Um, and I'm, I've been guilty of this before, where you hear what someone else is saying, and rather than just listen to them, you find out what's wrong, and you try to solve it for them. Mm -hmm. And there are people who don't want you to solve it. They yeah. just want to say what they want to say. Yeah. And I remember saying that to somebody once and saying, they got mad because I tried to solve it, and they said, I didn't, t I didn't want you to give me an answer to this. I just wanted you to hear me out. And I was like... Does not compute, does not compute. It's like, you, you shared the problem and I see a solution and you don't want the solution? And they said, no, I don't want the solution. I just wanted to know that I could tell you this. Got it. I understand, we're different. Got it now. And that's yeah, true, there are people who that's don't. That's how a lot of guys, just, guys' brains work. Obviously we're, we're fixers and so we, if there's a problem there, we're going to look for a solution. <laughs> but you should listen. Yeah. Because I promise you, if you don't, first of all, it's the nice selfless thing to do is to be a listener rather than a, a talker. And you'll be asked later, mm -hmm. and you'll, or you'll say something, it'll be very evident you weren't listening. Uh, but, yeah, very, very original concept. Great concept. Great concept. Great actor. Uh, yeah, very I, good. I thought he did a very good job, uh, the, the, the main guy. Uh, and very funny, the guy about yeah. the, the millennial that's just concerned that's about how many likes yeah, he gets. Two good things, and I don't know if this is a credit to the director giving the direction to the actors, or the actors just knew this inherently coming in, or if it was the casting director, but those two people specifically. The, our main guy demonstrated he could have a private moment, and what that means is, in acting classes, that's a very common thing to learn, especially at the beginning of an acting training, is to be public and to be private in public. That if you're standing in a room like he was and telling a story to yourself, you're not doing it for any audience. Yeah. You're just doing it. Yeah. And when you're doing comedy, you don't play the comedy. Yeah. You don't know it's funny <laughs> yourself. In that situation, that guy doesn't think any of this is funny. But it's funny. Yeah. Because circumstantially it's funny. But for that guy, it's tragic. And he didn't play the funny, which is what made it believable and yeah. made it funny. And a good job on the continuity of it all. Obviously, since we found out he was deaf or hearing impaired, mm -hmm. uh, when the... When the um, plates fell, he was a little ah. late to the reaction. Good point. I thought he was just intently listening. Yes. Now he's like, this is my job, I'm listening. But yes. it's, he didn't really hear that. No, and they gave us some foreshadowing at the beginning of the film. Yeah. I thought what he got was either going to be makeup or hair cream or something when he opened up the little white thing. Mm -hmm. And they went back to it with the same angle. And you realize, oh, that little white thing isn't what you thought it was. Yeah. But good point. I didn't pick up on that. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was... A really good short film, and they're they're all just so good. Uh, and I, I'm really curious to why none of them, or if they are, why they aren't accepted to the Oscars. Sincerely, like some of these are Oscar worthy short films that the Oscars would love. That was so, that was better than a couple of the short films I saw this year that were nominated. So I don't know yeah. if it's because it's an ad they're not allowed to. I don't know, yeah. but it's it's very curious to me. There's a lot that are way better than a lot of the Oscar films that I, the short films that I've seen. Agreed. And I usually watch all of them. I didn't get to this year just because I have a one and a half year old. Uh, but the that's yeah, they really should. I don't. I, I just don't. don't I, I don't. I don't understand. But they're all great. So let us know what other short films we should react to uh, down. And also, I feel like I would be really good at this show. There's multiple. <laughs> <laughs> I don't listen to at all. But people think I do. And I wouldn't be good at this because I'd take everybody's story to heart and go home sad for them. ADHD is a wonderful thing. I can be having 10 conversations at one time and also not be listening to you, but also listening to you at the same time. There's, I told my wife this. It, conversations happen all the time where like, we'll have a long conversation and I'll be thinking about something totally different, but I'll be You'll still retain? Responding. No, I won't retain okay. at all. But I can, like, I'm actually listening and I know what they're saying. <laughs> but it goes in in one ear and out the other ear. Yeah. Because my brain, just the way ADHD works, it's the same thing with a book. I can be reading page on page and actually reading it. 
and then realize I'm not paying attention to the words I'm actually reading. And then do you keep reading or go back? I have to go back because I'm like, I have no idea what I just read. Well, that happens to me often. I'll be reading something and then I'll, I can go off and then I realize I've got to go back and read it. But I'm one or the other when it comes to listening. Mm. I, I'm either deeply listening, paying attention and being an empath. I start to feel what's going on and take it at a very personal level or I'm not connected and then I typically apologize. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll say, I am so sorry. You just need to start over because I was completely distracted. So start from... <laughs> <laughs> Let us know what other short films we should react to down below.